morning. It is Saturday and I am trying to clean my apartment. Um, I managed to, you know, get up, get the laundry, the bed made. Just trying to get the most done that I can here in the weekend. Uh, if you're new here, uh, know that I am moving in the next couple weeks. So the whole packing game is happening. You guys, it was my birthday on Wednesday and my one of my piano students brought me what I am currently wearing. One of those pink, here I'll go into the mirror so you can see. One of those pink hoodies that you can wear, not hoodies, but just those comfy clothes. Thank you, Jean and Elizabeth for this. I will definitely be wearing it during the move. I'll probably just live in it. But uh, now that all the small things are done, I'm gonna start dishes and then I'm gonna do a manicure and I'm hoping to get to my new home today to move some things over and I'm debating doing an empty condo tour. So we shall see. Hi, it is about two hours later. I got my nails painted and my car is packed up with my first round of personal items going into my new home. Uh, my parents requested, and I completely agreed with this, that I not take any of my personals into the home until the new locks got put in because the uh, gentleman who owned this place before me rented this unit, so we don't know who has keys. But a quick trip to Home Depot this week fixed all of that, so we're all set to go. You guys, I put a video out every day this week from the girl who only puts out maybe two to three tops per week to do seven in a row. Whew, that is a lot of work. And the people that do that every day, kudos to those people. I don't know how you do it. Like, good days, bad days, good news, bad news, whatever it is, like, you've gotta be filming, editing, thumbnails, uh, analytics, tags, everything. That in itself, that is a job. Seriously. Have you ever thought people that make a full living on YouTube were, you know, just laying around not doing anything? It's a lie. It is so nice for February in Ohio. It is 63 degrees and sunny today. It is lovely. I did bring my camera. I'm going to, if all goes well and everything gets put in okay and I have an extra 10 minutes, I'll do an empty condo tour for you guys. That'll be its own separate video, but I will film that today. It just all depends. But I did bring my camera gear to do that. You know, this move hasn't been too terrible, especially for a first time home buyer. It's been, for the most part, a smooth transition minus a certain phone, television, cable, internet company who will remain nameless. Their company consists of three letters and an and. Figure it out. Ugh. All right. Maybe I can explain it to you guys and you can understand better than customer service. And when I say customer service, I mean like three separate representatives. Okay. Currently live in my apartment. You guys have seen it. There's a tour of it. Find it. Whatever. And I turned off my Wi-Fi, called this company, said, please shut off my Wi-Fi mid-February. They said, not a problem. And they said at the very end, if you choose to move out a little bit later and you want a couple more days of Wi-Fi, just don't touch the box. Leave it as it is. Call us. We will flip the switch. No one has to come out. We will flip the switch for you. And it's done. So they shut it off mid-February. I've decided I'm not going to leave for like a couple weeks after originally planned, which is fine. So I called this company and I explained to the representative, my name's Kristen, I have shut the Wi-Fi off, there's nothing wrong with what you did, it's exactly what I requested. Um, but when I did shut it off, I was told if I need it back on, to not touch the box, everything is still there, um, I'll pay whatever you know days I have internet and I'll use. Oh well, it's gonna take us like, seven to eight days to get someone out there. No, no, sir, I don't think you understand. Um, when I shut this off, your representative told me not to touch the box. I can still currently see it blinking the green that all it needs is to get service and it's ready to go. Oh, well, it's gonna take us, you know, still a week just to even do that. Wait, hold on, let me make sure I'm understanding this. 
it's going to take you seven to eight days to flip the switch at your headquarters that you clearly have access to now. Side note, this was on a weekday, not a weekend. Oh yeah, you know, I think, you know, for you, Miss Kristen, we can probably get it in like the next three or four days. And they really aren't chain smokers. I'm just emphasizing because of my detest of the situation. But then me being still polite, I was ever rude to these people. I said, you know, if that's really the best that you guys can do, you can go ahead and keep my subscription canceled. I won't pay any of the reinstallation fees. I won't pay any of the extra weeks. If that's really the best you can do, you know, just I'll have somebody come out and pick this up next week and we just won't do business. There was about a 30 second pause to which the women, the woman, excuse me, changed her tune and said, all right, give us 30 minutes and call us back. I called them back. It was about eight o'clock now at this time. Um, she flipped the switch and lo and behold, there was magic because there was Wi-Fi back in my apartment. So in reality, the lesson learned is adults really are magicians. And the most powerful spell or thing you could ever cast as a magician is if that's the best you can do, you know, I guess I'm just gonna have to cut off service and business with you guys. I don't think that's rude. I think that is actually fair because obviously they were lying to me. They were not telling me the truth and they could have just flipped the switch. I understand that they have to deal with several, several different situations working in customer service and I fully understand that. I get it, I was never trying to be rude to any of them. But really, did I have to lie to get a, literally a flip of a switch in their center? No one had to come out, no one had to touch a thing. But either way, story is done and moral of the story is, adults, you have the upper hand so long as you please just stay kind, you don't have to be rude. Most of the time you can get whatever you are looking for. Anyway, I hope you guys liked my story. Um, I'm gonna cut this vlog here for today. Sorry, it is so short. I am so pleased that I was able to put a video out every day this past Valentine's Day week. It was also my birthday, which I said earlier. And Liz and Elizabeth, you can see that I'm still wearing my sweatshirt, which I wish I had it because I got so sweaty doing 12 trips up and down the stairs to load up this car. Whew. All right, you guys have a great Monday. I say you guys will be seeing this and I will see you in the next one.